Hey Libra, this is Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your Enchanted Path reading, and the Enchanted Path is your life. So let's start out. We'll start out with an Enchanted Map Oracle to get a feel for where you are on the map. And then we'll use the um, Enchanted Forest um, Tarot. And I may or may not decide to read uh, the description of a random card just because I absolutely love the descriptions of the cards in here. They really add that magical touch, that enchanted touch to the reading. Um, and I just really enjoy the, the guide here. Alright, so let's see where you're at on the enchanted map. Where is Libra at on the enchanted map? And I apologize for the darkness. Um, I was woke up at 4.30 this morning by major thunder, lightning, and rain, and I uh, couldn't sleep through it, so I've been sitting here uh, in meditation and just felt the need to do the reading now, even though the lighting is terrible. So hopefully you won't have a problem seeing the cards. All right, so Spirit, what card represents where Libra is at on the map? And we have a rock bottom. Now this may not resonate with all of you, and it may only be a particular, um, you know, part of your life, um, but Spirit is, you know, drawing your attention to rock bottom. So rock bottom, I mean, the thought is, is that it's positive because you can't go any, you know, you can only go up from here, but I feel like because this is a number 10 card, this, whatever energy this is, however it applies to you, there goes more rain and thunder. Um, you're ending this cycle of, you know, kind of bottoming out here. So, let's see what the book says about rock bottom. Surrender and acceptance are the keys to freedom. As difficult as it may be to accept, it seems that you've reached a point where you can go no further in the same manner in which you've been doing things. Perhaps you've hit a proverbial brick wall or experience a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. The old way of doing things must be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction and a new strategy are called for. The only way out is through surrender. Accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea what to do next. If you wait in that heartfelt moment of release, then a stairway will appear, like magic, and all manner of synchronicities will show you the way to higher ground. The rock bottom card is a sign that a miracle is about to occur, but only if you let go completely. So, I and I also love the way they describe their cards as well, the enchanted map. It's, um, you know, it's... It's not about denying the negativity of a certain situation, but sometimes you just need to hear that positive, you know, that positive note to the situation in order to see it and be able to pull yourself out of it. So let's see how this is playing out for Libra. Okay, so we were at Ten of Cups in your recent past. So, this could be the current energy. I'm getting that this is the current energy. And it is a Ten as well. This is the Ten of Cups. And I feel like um, it's not even about rock bottom. It, this is regard to family and, you know, um, fulfillment. It could be almost anything. It could be just that there, you know, things cannot continue in the same way. Um, unfortunately, life is just about 
you get through one challenge and you may have a period of, you know, kind of, um, um, celebration or, um, rejuvenation and then life will present the next challenge and it's, it's about lessons that you need to learn. It's about so many different things. All right, so your challenge is the Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment. Okay, so this is, you know, I think it's just to avoid stagnancy, our own, our own uh, soul will present challenges to us, even when things in our environment are going very smoothly, right? We're going to always have the need to continually improve ourselves or continually improve our situation. So it's just, it's really about avoiding stagnancy because stagnancy as a survival can be, um, you know, costly to our health, to our, uh, to our survival. All right, so the advice from spirit is four of spells this is the four of wands and this is i feel like spirit is talking about you know your home um there it's time for movement in a sense like landmark this is about celebrating landmarks um it could be if you're you know in a relationship it's about moving to the next level if you are in, you know, already in a marriage or something, then I would say it's time for this marriage or love partnership to move to the next level. So this could be about bringing, you know, um, higher spirituality in order in your relationship. So, I mean, this is actually really positive energy. It's like, you know, rock bottom is is probably a little over the top um a little sensational if you will but i feel like it's like you've bottomed out in the sense that you know if you continue in the same way you will get stuck and stagnant so how can you bring you know bring forth a um higher vibration to your home to your relationships to your spiritual path okay and the outcome is the six of visions which is the six of cups so a lot of um a lot of water energy here and we do have the full moon in pisces coming on september 2nd so i feel like um this is not surprising i feel like um, the Six of Cups as the outcome is all about soulmate energy. Could be about your children. There could be, you know, um, a place. This could be about a relationship with your children and, you know, needing to um, balance out and come into a more stable place. Uh, within your relationship with like say your adult children or something um, if you are single I feel like this is really about your children or it could be about somebody coming from the past that will um, come into your life and you may have the opportunity to either heal whatever happened in the past or you may have the opportunity to reconcile um, and maybe it's just about uh, evaluating that and it's not clear here but let's get some uh, let's get some clarification so why is this ten of visions or ten of cups here for Libra's current energy and we have the world. So I'm just seeing a lot of completions of cycles, which is uh, an extremely um, good thing for your ascension. It's about, you know, having learned all the lessons or having gathered everything that you were meant to gather from a particular um, 
situation in your life or a person or a relationship and now it's closing that energy whether that is I don't believe anything here suggests that it's leaving a partner um, but things are about to change in a very big way in a very positive way so the world card here is about completions but it's also about new beginnings so if you are in a current relationship or if this is about your family it's about this going to a whole new level and this is really going to bring about spiritual enlightenment and this could be just for you or it could be you know in your partnership or within your family so this is like a gateway if you look at it it's like a gateway this circle okay and you've done everything that you were meant or put on earth to do within this cycle and it's time for a brand new cycle okay so why is this nine of visions or nine of cups in the challenge position we got a couple cards actually too many there's four take four for one card why is this nine of cups here for libra as a challenge and we have the sun so i feel like what what really is about positive movement forward and this is a challenge for you because i feel like there may be a need to get a little bit out of your comfort zone um again i'm seeing you know a lot of child energy here so and this could be let me see here what do we have i'm gonna say this is leo i don't see um and then there's of course a lot of water energy here um but i feel like um you know having the sun in your challenge position is about not being able to clearly see or think positive of your current situation in order to have your wish fulfillment i think that um what spirit is saying is that you've manifested this exact situation and yet you're not seeing this as your wish fulfillment so it could be all about being ex extremely grateful for what you have and really being able to see clearly how abundant and prosperous you have become within this situation all right so why is this four of spells here for libra as the advice And we have the Six of Swords. So this is all about moving into more calmer energy. So if there's been a lot of stress within the home, um, then I feel like this is your, um, your advice is, you know, finding, finding a, be a better vantage point in a sense so that you can think clearly about your future. Um, you know, sometimes trying to make decisions within a storm or trying to make decisions or you know think clearly when you have any kind of chaos or stress or whatever it is you have to take yourself out of the situation in order to see it clearly and I feel like that is what's really being said here to restore the stability in your home more than likely in your home could be work um, I'm, there's just so much cups here, I can't imagine this is work, but some of you are very emotional about the work that you do, and so this could very well be your job. Um, especially with this world card, I feel like the world card can talk about travel, can talk about life purpose, right? So why is this six of visions or six of cups here for Libra? And we have the Page of Cups. Wow, just so much emotional energy here, water energy. So, okay, so I feel like maybe there is um, an opportunity from this person from your past, if you are single or not, even if you're not single, there may be somebody from your past coming through with some type of offer of love, okay? So, and it could be a child because this is the page this could be about restoring you know a relationship with 
um, an adult child that's been away from you. Um, this could be them apologizing. This could be them coming to you with, you know, um, a truce, if you will, if you've been in battle with them. So that's what I'm getting here. I mean, this isn't going to apply to everybody, but this is the general energy that I have coming through. So let's get um, some guidance from the spirit guide. And we have cleanse. It says, your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. I always crack up because physical cleansing, it's like, go take a bath or whatever, or go clean your house. But I really feel like there is a need. You're going to feel like this purification. And I really get that from this here. It's like going to take you into that calmer state in order to see things much clearly, much more clearly. Let's get one more of those. Okay, and we have dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So pay attention to your dreams. That is um, something spirit is bringing your attention to. Okay. And let's get um, some star seed messages to close this out. Okay, and we get the blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. Okay, so I'm getting... Let me see here. I'll just put these here. I feel like that's why there's so much cups energy. Is Spirit is really drawing you um, to the feelings that you're having in your intuition. So it might be less emotional. Um emotional issues playing out here it may be about really going um you know doing that introspection in order to really feel what is your intuition telling you about any situation in your life and really connecting with that okay and oh my god then we get inner worlds your external world is a reflection of your inner world so i definitely see that the, this is about that internal journey and I feel like you're being guided through your dreams. There may be things that are brought up that that you haven't thought about that need to be closed out or healed, right? And finally, we get patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. All right, so those are the messages that came through for you, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember that the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.